Hello everyone. In our previous video, we used DetectRod2 for instance segmentation. In today's video, we are going to look into the cases where instance segmentation fails or it's not that much accurate. We will see how we can produce much nicer and accurate segmentation masks. We are going to build upon our previous video, so if you have not checked that out, the link is in the description below. Alright, so let's start by running the code from the previous video and perform instance segmentation. I will show a couple of examples where instance segmentation struggles to produce segmentation masks properly. Alright, so let's run instance segmentation on an image of airplane that I have. So it is able to detect airplane with 100% accuracy, but if we look at the mask produced by the model, it does not actually follow the object outline. For example, look at the tail of the airplane. And on few places, it's even outside the actual object. For example, this tire over here. So let's take another example. I'm going to change the input image. And here is the image of Roger Federer playing tennis. And if we look at the segmentation mask, it does not follow the outline of fingers or arm properly. So what we are going to do to fine tune the segmentation mask? Well, we can use a Detectron 2 based project called Point Rend, which basically poses the instance segmentation as a rendering problem. If you want details about the method, I will put the original paper in the description below. All right, so let's start modifying our detector class. We used several models for object detection, instance segmentation and more. And now we will add another model to this code. So let's import Detectron2 and point rend project. Now we need to add another model. Let's add another else if condition with model type PR, which stands for point rend. Let's write it here. Oh, that should be double equals to. Now let's add the configuration to the point rend. We can do it by passing our existing self.cfg variable to point rend config. Finally, we just need to define model configuration file and the respective weights file, just like before. For model configuration file, head over to this point rend repository and if we scroll down here to the semantic segmentation section, we can see there are a bunch of pre-trained models. We are going to choose the model with highest average precision. Copy the link to the mask head and paste here. We do not need this full path. We are going to replace everything before project with Detectron2. That would be the complete path to the configuration file. Now we need to define the path to the model's weight file. It's going to be self.cfg.model.weights and this time we will not be getting it from model zoo. Instead, we will go back to the point rend repository and copy the path of the respective model file. Now paste that path here in the code, but we do not need this URL and we need to replace it with detectron2, full colon and then double slash. This is important, so be careful and do not make any mistakes. With that, implementation is done. Rest of the things remain exactly the same. Now save our detector.py file and go back to main.py file. Change the model type to PR, run the script and the model is going to be downloaded automatically. Here we have the result of point rend. We can see that the segmentation mask is much more nicer as compared to the previous instance segmentation result. The fingers are segmented out nicely instead of just a blob and the waist is also detected as part of the person. Now let's go back to our airplane image. Here we can see that there is no segmentation mask outside the wheels and the tail is also segmented out by following the object outline. If you want, you can also check that out on the videos. With that, I am done with today's video. I will see you next time.